Oh my gosh, this world's going to hell. Breaking news out of uh, Saudi Arabia over northeast Rida, which is the capital of Saudi Arabia. Uh, the country Yemen has launched seven missiles at least. I, th I think a total of nine. But seven were intercepted by Saudi uh, military. Seven of these missiles were, uh, yeah, they were intercepted by the Saudi military. There was debris, and at least one person was killed from falling debris. This happened over just over a college in Enam, which is a section like of a, a northeast uh, Rita, Saudi Arabia. So, is the Middle East going to war? There's been talks of war and rumors of war between Saudi Arabia and Iran. Now, it says in the Bible in Revelation that in the end of days there will be wars and rumors of war and nations will come against nations and governments and nations will fall. So I'm not sure what the beef is between Iran and Saudi Arabia. I know that there's some uh, some warfare going on there because uh, we know that Saudi Arabia has a Rothschild bank. We know that Saudi Arabia funded the Libyan rebels in Libya to overthrow our uh, embassy in Benghazi. Hillary Clinton was behind that. It was a gun uh, uh, trafficking operation after Gaddafi was killed in 2011. Where the Saudis funded funded the Libyans, the Libyan guerrillas, to take out our, our embassy. They wanted, they the, basically they wanted to uh, overthrow Gaddafi to put in their own Rothschild bank in Libya. So any basically any country that doesn't have a Rothschild bank is the New World Order wants to overthrow, and the New World Order is using Saudi Arabia basically as their uh, own uh, offense to uh, overthrow these governments by uh, giving arms to Saudi Arabia. Something that Donald Trump did, he uh, signed a $1 billion arms trade over to Saudi Arabia. And he did it secretly. So I think that's kind of a dirty move. So I'm finding more and more out about Donald Trump that is he part of the global plan? You know, it just seems like the, every time that we to hear about another government getting overthrown, it seems to come back to Saudi Arabia. Why is that? Why is that in there in the first Gulf War? We use Saudi Arabia as like a uh, plantation to kick Iraq out of Kuwait during Desert Storm. We ain't going to go to war with Saudi Arabia. No, they fund the terrorists. Saudi Arabia has funded more terrorists than Iran. Iran funded who was the Hezbollah and Hamas, but Saudi Arabia has funded more terrorists. They're the number one terrorist funder in the Middle East. And they got all the oil, you know. So I'm not exactly sure what the beef is between Yemen and Saudi Arabia. But It was just what yesterday or the day before that uh, first Iranian or not Iran but an India flight that Saudi Arabia is just is just now going to open up the airspace to Israel and they allowed an Indian flight to fly from I think it was Rita to Jews Jerusalem or something I'm not exactly sure why is Saudi Arabia opening up the airspace to Israel? Something's going on here, people. Wake up. Something's big going on. There's some big shit going on in the Middle East. So, Saudi Arabia intercepted seven missiles fired from Yemen. At least that's what we're being told. So, I don't know. How do I know it wasn't the Russians involved? Don't know. But that's what we're being told, so... Some big shit going on in the Middle East, man. Just keep your eyes open, because uh, could this be the spawn of World War III?